Hey guys, no zoo for you here, and that means we've got a lot of potato talk coming up. Just kidding, just kidding. Not not potato talk, but anyhow, before I get to the nitty gritty, the wonderful, fabulous Benson, just want to let you all know you have one week left to get your entries in for my magnificent, wonderful, marvelous 10K ship giveaway which I'm giving away one tier eight, one tier six, and five tier three. So that's going to wrap up on May the 11th. So you have until then to get your entries in. Details are in the comments of this video. If you want to get your entries in, it's through Gleam. So don't, don't pass up on a chance for some free ships. But anyhow, let's, let's get down to the Benson. Are you feeling it? Are you ready to release your passive aggressiveness? That's, that's how I felt like I was playing. I felt like I was a very passive, aggressive person. To say the least, I did not like the Benson. I did not enjoy it one bit whatsoever. It just did not suit me, so... If you recall, I spoke a little bit about the Farragut and Mahan. I told you how I did in those two ships, and the Farragut, I had a great time. Did very well in it. The grind was quick, it was swift, and I played at a Unicum level. The Mahan, I didn't enjoy it quite as much, though I still play that as a Unicum level as well. The Farragut, I had a 71% win percentage. The Mahan, 59%, just a shade under what I consider my Mendoza line. I like to aim for 60%, so I played those ships fairly well. I, I enjoy the Farragut a lot. So the Benson, I, I I was really hoping for better. I was I was hoping I was going to enjoy it more than Ma, in the Mahan, but the Benson, wow! I, I'm just going to come out and tell you right now, I sucked in it. I sucked it up completely. I mean, I I, I did not enjoy the ship one bit. So let, let me kind of go over the stats for you and how I did. I'm sure you all are interested. It took me 40 games to grind through the Benson, 40. So. You know, double that of the Mahan, and that, that pretty much makes sense. Now, the win-loss, I, I played exactly 60%, which, that, that's not that bad. Again, I, I hit my Mendoza line, 60% is what I aim for, and I did that. So, well above average for the ship, and destroyers in general. So, that's a win right there, right? Yay, yay, good me. So, um, whatever. Uh, it goes downhill from there very rapidly. Damage. 32,000 average damage, that's down from 36,000 damage on the Mahan, and down from 45,000 average damage on the Farragut. Not where I like to be, one bit. Not where I like to be. Survival was 50%, not bad. That's actually up for the Mahan and the Farragut, so I, I was playing a little more smart, I guess. I, I, I guess, at least. But here, here's the bad part, and the big bad ugly. And that's, that's in my WTR, so... Farragut, almost 1,800, Mahan, almost 1,700, and Benson, good God, 1,136. Absolutely potato right now. Horrible. Horrible, I know. I'm, I'm, I shouldn't even be talking about this ship, right? I, I have no right to talk about the Benson as bad as I played in it, right? Well, the interesting thing is all the other categories I played in, I was well above average. And even the WTR is above average, which, you know... It, Nothing to be too proud of for myself. Um, so, what happened there? Why, why did I wind up like that? What, what happened? And, and I have some ideas of how I wound up that way. So, first and foremost, you know, all these ships I grinded alone. I was not divisioned up with anyone. So, instantly off the bat, if you're not divisioned up with buddies, you're not going to play as good as you could. Um, the, the other reasons, and we're going to get to them here in a little bit, um, you know, include such things as just the way I was playing. Again, I said passive-aggressive in the beginning, and I was playing passive-aggressive. And when you play passive-aggressive, you might help your team. You're, you're going to help your team if you play the right way. You lay smoke, which I did a lot, but you're really not helping yourself. And it's unfortunate you don't get rewarded for the things that do help your team when you just don't. So, let's talk a little bit about the Benson itself. Let's have a discussion about the Benson. Um, we'll, we'll start with uh, the cons and what I feel are the big cons of the ship and why I didn't like it. First, the torpedoes are horrible. And I think we know this. The Mahan was pretty much the same. 
You've got very slow torpedoes, 55 knot torpedoes, and that, that is not going to help you. Not one bit. Your guns are only so-so. While they're better, in my opinion, than Mahan, they're still not up to the task of what you're going to face. And what you're going to face is the biggest con, in my opinion, of the Benson. You get up-tiered a lot. You're in Tier 9 battles a lot. You're in Tier 10 battles a fair amount. The Benson is just not up to the task, especially with its guns, of taking out the ships that you find in Tier 9 and Tier 10. If you're up against a Fletcher, you're going to have a big problem. If you're up against a Cabby, you're going to have a huge problem. I guess it would be a Hobby or a Habby, because they don't pronounce that K, but yeah, whatever. Anyhow, you get my point. You're not going to do well against it in a Benson. The Benson is just outgunned, out-torpedoed, out-everything. Now... There are some pros. There are some sunny spots and silver lining. If you're in the top tier, you're going to do fairly well. Anytime I was top tiered, I usually topped out the leaderboard. I usually wound up on top with the highest XP and everything else. But again, once I got up tiered, that's when bad things happened. All right, continuing on with the pros, your smoke is also very, very good. I mean, really good. You can use it to very good effect. And that leads me to my next big point about the Benson. The Benson forces you to play selflessly. Or at least forced me to be a selfless player. And I'm pretty sure that my WTR really, really reflects that. So again, 60% win-loss ratio. Not that bad, especially playing solo. In a ship that you're really not familiar with. So I, I, will, not, I will not begrudge myself because of that. But... Because of that, you know, I, I was doing things to help my team, and I'm sure that's partly why my win percentage was decent in this ship, but those things were laying down an abnormal amount of smoke. I was, I was my team's best friend. They loved me because I was constantly laying smoke for them, to my own detriment. I had one round where we got to the final cap and I had 200 damage because the entire time I was laying smoke allowing my team to do what they needed to do. Which, that's great for winning, but for yourself, that's not. You're, you're not going to you're not gonna be at the top of the leaderboard if you're doing that. And that's unfortunate. And really, I wish Wargaming would take a better look at this. I, I really think they need to award XP for concealing your team. In my opinion, there, there should be a ribbon for that. Let's say if your teammate winds up in smoke for 10 seconds, that's one ribbon right there. If another ship winds up in smoke for 10 seconds, that's another ribbon. And of course those ribbons are worth 100 XP or whatever, I don't know. But you should be able to accumulate a fair amount of XP just smoking your teammates. Doing that because that is helping your team win. You're concealing your team and they're able to take out the enemy. Of course, again, the downside to that is you are not damaging the enemy a lot. You're allowing your teammates to, but you're not. So, smoke must be rewarded. And I laid a lot of smoke. And that's, really, my stats reflect that. I played selflessly a lot when I was up-tiered. When I was in my own tier, well, I, I went out on a tear. I'd do great. I'd do fine. But, unfortunately, that was only 20% of the rounds or so. The rest of the time I was up tiered and a tier 8 Benson and a tier 9 and tier 10 battle, it's, it's just not fun. It's outclassed severely. The Benson is not up to the task and that I think is the biggest downfall for the ship. Now fortunately, unlike the Mahan, the Benson has really good concealment as well. I mean, off the top of my head, what, what is it? 5.9, 5.8, you're sub 6. With the correct modules, Concealment Expert as your captain skill and everything else. But aside from that, well, yeah, Tier 9, Tier 10, you know, Concealment will only help you so far. But past that, you just got to play clever. And it took me a long time to figure out that the... And it took me a long time to figure out the meta for the Benson that I had to play with. One that I usually don't play to. And that's the Benson. In order to get it to work properly and up tiered battles you have to hide behind land masses you have to fire behind land and be that person that I really don't like firing at me while I can't fire back and once I did that my final round even though I was up tiered I did really good it was probably my best round in the Benson because I was setting things on fire 
through defilade. Other ships couldn't hit me, but I could hit them. And unfortunately, it just took me 40, well, not quite 40, it took me about 30, 35 rounds to figure that out. My last game was my best game. So there you have it. That is my experience in the Benson. It was not a rosy one. It was not a good one. It was a complete, well, for, for lack of a better word, I was a potato in many ways. Well, at least my WTR says that, and really, fortunately, I don't care about my WTR that much. I've, I've screwed it enough in the past through other gameplay that, you know, I just I don't care. And that's, that's the fortunate part. I'm not making any money in any leagues or anything. Actually, I don't think any leagues are giving money right now, so there's that. But... You know, it was a big departure from the previous two destroyers. It was a big departure from the Mahan and the Farragut. Two ships that I played pretty good in. Two ships that I played Unicum in. The Benson just did not suit me one bit. I, did, I just... It did not click, and I did not play well in it. I played too passively, because I felt if I played aggressively, especially when up-tiered, I was going to get rocked. And I did get rocked in a few games if I did. And plus, on top of that, the Benson just has too much other stuff it has to worry about. You know, there's a lot more radar. Radar just really, you know, it's the bane of a destroyer. I'm learning that now. I have learned that. So I empathize with you DD mains out there. I, I understand what you're going through. But I will say this grind was worth it. The silver lining was the Fletcher, of which I've only had a chance to play three rounds, but two of the rounds I, I did fairly well, and I, I'm enjoying it so far, even with the slower Torvis, because you've got better guns. Guns that the Benson just doesn't have. The Benson just, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe you all disagree. That's cool. Tell me why. Tell me, tell me what you like about the Benson. Tell me what makes you think the Benson's a great ship. If you think the Benson is the best destroyer out there, or if the Benson's overpowered, or if, you know, if you think the guns are great, persuade me. Because I know that, you know, I am not a phenomenal destroyer player. I can hold my own. I'm decent. I'm good. But what, what advice would you have given me playing the Benson? I am curious in that. I, I'm very curious. Because I want to play better in this ship, even though I've sold it. And I'm probably never going to buy it again. I would have liked to have played better. But th this is your chance. Let me know the merits of the Benson. What do you think about the Benson? Especially if it's one of your favorite ships. Because I'm, I'm not going to poo-poo on this ship. I'm not going to say it's a crap ship. All I'm doing is answering the challenge you all gave me a while ago. To go through the Destroyers again, since it's been so long. To understand what the plight of the Destroyer player is. Which I feel I've done so far. And I'm feeling your plight. I'm feeling what you're up against. And it's a lot. I, I'm seeing that now. But, because of that, you know, I, I want to know, what, what makes the Benson, in your opinion, a good ship? Or, if you agree with me that it's a bad ship, what would you do to fix it? What do you think could fix the Benson? I mean, obviously, I think torpedoes would fix this ship. I think the torpedoes would help the ship a lot. Maybe I should have tried putting the, uh, the speed upgrade on the torpedoes. Sacrificed a little distance. I don't know. But this is where I want you, the community, to come in. I, I want you to... Open the discussion about the Benson. Let's talk about the Benson. Let's talk about the good and the bad. And if it needs to be better, if it should be better, if there's ways to make it better. Or, if I just need to get better. If I need to get good. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe it was me. Maybe it was my play style. Maybe I should have stopped laying smoke down and hid behind more mountains. I don't know. But, let's have this discussion. Let's talk about the Benson. Anyhow, guys, again, make sure you get entered in my giveaway. Not much time left. Uh... Don't lose out on a chance for a free ship. You never want to lose out on a chance on that. But anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you all later. I am out.